Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Glenn, and I ran across something uh, a little bit interesting today uh, when I was trying to share a SharePoint Online site with an external user. So I thought I would record it and show you what I ran into and show you what to do, okay? So uh, first I have this uh, SharePoint Online site. I'm gonna click Share Site, and in the box I'm gonna type in the person's email address that I want to share it with, all right? so. I'm going to share it with John. So straight away, I am told that my organization's policies don't allow me to share with these users. So go to external sharing, sorry about the line, uh, in the Office 365 Admin Center to enable it, okay? So let's do that. Go to the Admin Center, use our handy dandy search box to do external sharing. Sites external sharing, we're gonna click it because that's what the message told us to do, right? So, uh, external sharing, oh look, it's already enabled. Well, here's the hint. Uh, here's, here's the key that I wanted to share with you. When you're sharing a SharePoint site, SharePoint Online site with external users, there are actually three places you have to go to enable it. First is the Admin Center, where we just visited. The second is the SharePoint Admin Center. So I'm gonna click this handy dandy link that Microsoft has provided and load the SharePoint Admin Center. There is a sharing link here. Um, so we're gonna to go to the sharing page. Lo and behold, I've already enabled sharing here. So I've enabled it in the Admin Center across my tenant. I've enabled it in SharePoint Admin Center across SharePoint. So the third place we have to go look is actually on the site collection properties. So each SharePoint site collection. And if you will remember from a video I did several weeks ago, uh, the new Admin Center for SharePoint uh, Online provides you access to sites that are the modern sites, so group-enabled uh, sites, um, communication sites, and the like. So that's where we're going to have to go. Uh, if you go to the Site Collections list, um, the regular Site Collections list in the SharePoint Admin Center, you're not going to find those other sites, those modern sites. And since the one I'm trying to share is a communication, sites, a communication site, that's where I have to go. I'm going to click the Try Preview button. Go over to the Site Management here. I'm going to click that. And then I want to find my site. So um, I'm going to do my URL. And the site was our portal here. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to click the information right there. That's gonna pull in information about my site collection. And lo and behold, down at the very bottom, sharing status here, says it can't be shared with external users. So I'm gonna click the change button, the change link right there. And here are my options. So I can um, let users create shareable links that don't require sign-in. That's, in other words, anonymous. New and existing external uh, users, but those users must sign in existing external users, so uh, users that are already uh, in your organization's directory, um, or not allow it at all. So I'm gonna choose new and existing external users so that uh, uh, anyone I'm sharing with has to log in uh, to the system, to uh, Office 365. So just to let you know, it will take a little while for this to update uh, for your site collection. A little while, I mean, just to maybe a couple of moments. Um, in fact, it's already happened here, so that's great. So I can go back and take him off, and then I can enter him again. Oh, of course, uh, on my demo. Uh, I'm able to now share. Um, I had to get out of the... the this uh, screen and come back into it, as you can see. Um, but now I'm able to send this person an email, letting them know that they uh, have access to my site. And, and really important is it's giving me information here saying that this person is outside of my organization. Remember, if you want them to collaborate on your site, you need to change from read, which is the default here, to full control, which means it. So be careful or edit. Okay. So I hope that was uh, helpful. Uh, remember, there are three locations to enable external sharing of SharePoint sites, the Admin Center, 
the SharePoint Admin Center, and then the site collection itself. Connect with me online, uh, Twitter, Daniel Glenn, or my website, danielglenn.com. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Bye-bye.